Hey guys, Nanaki here bringing you another Team Fortress 2 gameplay commentary. Today I'm playing as the Heavy, as you see here, and I'm playing on Indulge, a map that I'd never played on before. It's a pretty standard capture point map. It's got five points on it. It was made by that guy there, Vile Pickle. And having never played on it before, I'm kind of lost at first, and it's actually rather uh, large as far as maps go. I mean, there are some other 5 CP maps that are about the same size, but it feels bigger. Maybe because there seems to be more areas that have elevated options and pathways. Like, everywhere you look, kind of, there's height options. Stairs everywhere. And I kind of can dig that, as long as it's not areas that are just explicitly advantageous to people using explosives to get around. Because that's not really my cup of tea. But as soon as I joined in, first round, we kind of, I think, I got here a little bit too late to do anything about it. And we lost. But that's the way it goes sometimes. And as you can see here, I left the travel to the front intact, although sped up. So you can see how big this map really is. From spawn to the center is like a 27 second run. So I sped that up like 400% or something to make that a little bit more tolerable, but still give you an impression of the size of the thing without it going so fast that you can't see what's going on. And you can jump on those little concrete blocks there. And thankfully the Gerardi meant that I could catch the medic before he got around the corner. Teamwork for the win. Speaking of teamwork, people fainting around the corner. Not with a uh, pyro there to back me up, and I'm, I'm throwing the sandwich down preemptively. He doesn't need it right now, but somebody might need it. Who knows? I don't need it, that's for sure. Not with a medic healing me. So moving forward, taking out sentries as we go. Investigating as I go as well, trying to learn the map and more doors. I don't like doors like that too much because they're so easy to sticky trap, but luckily for us, no sticky traps on this particular set of rounds. And as I'm coming up here, heading toward what I... Turns out to be the last point. I didn't even know that. My team is getting the previous point, the second to last. I'm coming around this corner hoping to spot somebody, even though I don't see anybody. That's me firing into empty space, hoping for the best, because I've got a crits going, and I should make use of it if I possibly, possibly can. And I've had people pop around corners out of the blue before randomly without expectation or warning. So here I am on the last point before they could possibly react, and three people on their team got a point. Does, I'm not saying that more people didn't get a point, but at the very most... No one on that team had more than a point. <laughs> I was like, how exactly did the blue team lose the first round? And then the red team managed to not score more than a point per person on the second round. And I think the answer is they were not up against the heavy on the first round. And when you go from no heavies to a medic heavy pair, it really changes the dynamic of the gameplay. Things you could get away with a moment ago, all of a sudden you can't. Unfortunately, somewhere in that mix, I did let my medic die. And so I'm going for the sandwich. And getting a look around at the same time. That is one nice benefit of the sandwich is you can rotate the camera around while you're eating it and still have a, a semblance of an idea of what's happening. And of course, the medic is the high priority target in that mix. I'm trying to shoot over the concrete block to make sure I don't get sniped, and there's another sniper directly to my left putting arrows in me. I am a human pincushion as a heavy. Every time I play heavy, I feel like I am just a magnet for snipers. Like there's a big magnet in my head and just pulls the bullets right into it. But it is one thing about Heavy, is it's more reliant on strategy than tactics, more so than any other class, I think. And what I mean by that is that tactics are things like headshots and stair stabs and and matador stabs and that, well, a lot of examples from Spy. But, uh, or, you know, a tactic would be compression blasting rockets into a soldier, whereas strategy is, is being lined up in the right place for when that soldier comes around the corner, I'm going to have space to compression blast, or making a guy chase you up the stairs, you know, making sure that he saw you, but not close enough that he can, you know, catch you without getting stair stabbed. Like, that's the strategy versus the tactic of uh, actually employing it and executing it and, and making success. But with, with, with the heavy, your tactic always is shoot the guy. There's no variation to that. There's no trickery. You've got a big-ass minigun, you're slow as hell with it, and you're going to click and fire, put people in the middle of the cursor and just lay on the trigger. So since there are no real options as far as tactics, you've got to rely 100% on being strategic and being in the right place at the right time to capitalize on the power of the heavy, which is just overwhelming health and straightforward directed fire. You don't have to worry about arcing shots or time to target and, and nothing. Bullets to the person immediately, bang, boom, dead. That's what I like about heavy. It's probably also the strongest point of heavy, and you got to play to a class's strengths to really take advantage of that class's strengths. Sounds obvious, but sometimes a lot of people uh, like to play a class in a way that's not necessarily the most advantageous way to possibly do it. You know, when I play sniper with a scope and I'm getting too close to the front line because I'm bored in the back, that's not smart, that's not advantageous, even though it might work, even though a properly skilled player could pull off, you know, quick scope headshots left and right for 150 here, 150 there. I'm not that guy, so I've got to play to 
a combination of my strengths and the class's strengths, which, you know, in that case would be staying oh, back a little bit further thing, right? and actually aiming more carefully and going for charged headshots and whatnot. And, you know, there's a uh, crit soldier. Crit soldier really, really probably my favorite class to give the crits to. With Demo Man a close second because crit stickies in the right context can ruin everybody. But if you've got a lot of people spread out and you need a more directed kind of approach, I feel like it's really crit rockets. You can't beat them. That's what I feel like. They they are more directable and quick than crit stickies. You don't have to worry about a one second arming time and whatnot. It's just boom, boom, boom. Everybody's gone. <laughs> more often than not, anyway. Even heavies with a full overheal or two shots, and you know you're gonna get that. You're gonna get away with that more often than not. But I've kind of been ignoring the gameplay on this round, and right here we've got all but our last point captured. And I really wanted to go push and get that point in front of us so we don't lose the last point. I feel like offense is the best defense, more often than not. But after I died, maybe my little bit of uh, uh, damage there helped add up to a little bit of a push where we reclaimed that last point, although we're losing it again immediately at the second to last point, I should say. I don't know what happened to this pyro. Maybe he lagged out for a second. He was just standing there waiting for me to come around the corner like, hey, buddy. No fire, no nothing. Just hello. And so we, we've still got that point the Demo Man is standing on, and he's throwing stickies all over the place, and I'm like, okay, cool, I'm going to move forward now, because standing on that point waiting for the blue, the red to go away is not going to be as good as going forward and running into people who maybe don't expect to run into you. If you're approaching the point as the red team, you're going to expect to run into resistance at the point, but you might not expect to run into resistance necessarily at the middle point. You know, it all varies. And I throw that sandwich down for the soldier. You can't just save your sandwiches for medics. Throw them down for anybody that's damaged if you've got a few seconds to spare. Because that he that soldier stayed alive for a while there and distracted all those people who were looking left. The pyro as well was kind of uh, the thing they were looking at as well there. But uh, here, this made me happy. Coming around a corner to just the time to kill some snipers. And he got at me with a headshot to his credit. That man is a damn fine sniper. Which makes it all the more satisfying to be able to say, it does not matter that you've get me with a headshot, I have 450 health with an overheal. And I love this, I'm eating the sandwich, the medic is healing me, I'm getting attacked by like six people, I jump and spin up, and somehow that, that demo man dies, I get shot in the back by a rocket at the same time. It was confusing, there's a domination and a revenge in a matter of like a second, he doesn't know what happened, I didn't know what happened, everybody's dead. And no one is dominated. Something happened, it... it Okay. <laughs> so again, we're pushing here, trying to move forward, and I'm coming around this corner even though there's like 17 people in front of me, and you gotta pick a priority in that moment. Like, do I go for the demo? Do I go for the pyro? I kinda had an expectation the demo man was gonna back off, because I'd gunned him down pretty effectively the last few times I ran into him, and... You know, there's no telling. Despite what the timer says there, nine minutes remaining in the round, that's a lie. The timer's a lie, just like the cake. It's not real. The actual timer is the server switching to the next map right there and because we happen to hold more points at that moment we won even though as you saw that sniper had like 20 points on the other team but anyway thank you so much for watching i do greatly appreciate it as always like it if you liked it and i will catch you next time peace